a very good morning seventh class today we will do the question answer of this chapter as you know we have studied this chapter natural vegetation and wildlife so in our chapter B part also given in the book and this is explain the terms first of all students you will note down all the question answer in your fair notebook clear the first one is here is given ecosystem ecosystem and ecosystem a term very often used in biology is a community of plants and animals interacting with each other in a given area and also with their non living environments the non living environments include weather earth sun soil climate and atmosphere got it second one biome biome are a group of ecosystems sharing the same characteristics and are well adapted to the prevailing abiotic factors biomes include both the abiotic and biotic factors clear third one natural vegetation natural vegetation refers to the plants and other flora that make up the plant life in the region the natural vegetation will determine the characteristics of the area fourth one wildlife rainforests wildlife rainforest traditionally refers to undomesticated animal species but has come to include all organism that grow or live wild in an area without being introduced by humans the rainforests are a home to a wide variety of wildlife got it now the next one fifth one pampas the pampas of south america are a grassland biome they are flat fertile plains that cover an area of 300000 square miles or 777000 square kilometers from the atlantic oceans to the andes mountains now sixth one is steps a large area of land unforested grassland in south eastern europe or siberia 71 savanna a grassy plain in tropical and subtropical region with a few trees Mm -hmm. 
now eighth one tega the swampy conifers forest of high northern latitudes especially that between the tundra and steppes of siberia 91 tundra a vast flat treeless arctic region of europe asia and north america in which the subsoil is permanently frozen so students this is the b part these are the terms and you will note down the next question is there now the next question this is the c part c part uh, first question is there the factor on which the growth of vegetation depends answer temperature and moisture are the two factors on which the growth of vegetation mostly depends it also depends on factors like a slope and thickness of soil forest which grow where temperature and rainfall are plentiful to support a tree depending upon these factors dense and open forest are grown now the second question the three broad categories of natural vegetation answer the three broad categories of natural vegetation are forests grassland and shrubs question third two areas of equatorial rainforest answer regions of the equatorial forest the forest of the congo basin it is the largest block of rainforest in africa located in the congo basin forming tropical forest of west africa to the northwest a strip of rainforest continuous to the highland of a cameroon the fourth question is there the two hardwood trees commonly found in tropical evergreen forest answer rosewood and ebony are the two most commonly found hardwoods in the tropical evergreen forest the tropical evergreen forest supports the growth of hardwood like rosewood and ebony very commonly because uh, this forest remain fairly moist and warm throughout the year reasons this is the question number 5 reasons famous for cultivation of citrus fruit so answer the origination of citrus fruits was the china and india that is subtropical and tropical areas some of the types of citrus fruits which are found in india are the orange sweet lime and lemon the citrus fruit are known for giving vitamin c and they are also refreshing in a humid weather 
now this is the d part we have completed the c part the next question this is the d part answer the following questions the first question is there what are the main features of equatorial evergreen forests so these are the features the first one is the tropical wet evergreen forest in india is usually found in areas receiving more than 200 centimeter of rainfall and having a temperature of 50 to 30 degree celsius second one they occupy about 7% of the earth's surface they are found mostly near the equator they have sparse undergrowth enters first with clearing they have to spar undergrowth interspersed with clearing they have a scarce presence of litter organic matter settling on the ground these forests are dense and multi-layered the harbor many types of plants and animals the forest constitute an important part of the environment and ecology so not down now this is the second question of the d part where are tropical deciduous forests found name the five animals found in these forest answer deciduous forest is found in three middle latitude regions with a temperate climate characterized by a winter season and year round precipitation eastern northern america western eurasia and north eastern asia deciduous forest also extends into more arid regions along stream banks and around bodies of water tiger lions elephant bears leopards are found in these forest now this one is a third question how are conifers forest useful to us answer conifers provide shelter and food for a wide range of wildlife too they also play an important role in the global sequestering of carbon a conifers forest biome absorb three times more carbon out of the atmosphere than tropical or temperate forest So students, in next video, 
we will do the remaining question answer so आप यहीं तक इनको नोट डाउन कीजिए नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम बचे हुए क्वेश्चंस करेंगे आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग बी एन सी पार्ट explain the terms ecosystem biome करिए दो मिनट रह गए 